This is the promotional artwork for Minecraft 1.19's The Wild Update. You can see it when it's used in the launcher. And at first glance, nothing seems to be wrong with it. You've got the swamp on the left side, you have some sort of oasis on the right side, or a war motion. And down the bottom here, you have the warden and Steve. At first glance, everything seems fine. Until you look a little bit closer. So all of this was spurred on by a post on r slash phoenixsc titled, Something is wrong here, and you have a gap where there's no water flowing down. And there was a huge debate about this, talking about the perspective of this picture and whether water can actually not flow into this space. You even have not Steve staring at it mysteriously. So I'm just gonna clear everything up for you because I made it. I recreated the screen in Minecraft. It took a few hours, but I wanna take you through this because yes, after doing it, there is a lot wrong. For the sake of this video, I'm going to turn off the resource pack. So the first thing is, can water flow from this block down the waterfall without traveling into this block? And the answer is yes. By the way, that's Blonde Steve. So even with a block update, this water will not flow over here because this is the closest edge and it will fall down. So this is not wrong. What I feel like is incorrect though, is this. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is weird. This is wrong. This is weird. And this dog is very, very wrong. Okay, let's go to this tree. The leaves on this texture pack that is used for the bare bones promotional artwork are the same. So you can't differentiate between an oak tree and a mangrove tree. So the way we determine the difference between an oak tree and a mangrove tree is the structure of the leaves and the wood. The oak tree canopies are a lot smaller, a lot more simple that we all recognize, while mangrove canopies are a lot larger, a lot more leafy, and more random. Mangrove trees do not grow from the bottom up with the mangrove log structure. It's in the air, mostly because of the roots. An oak tree grows from the ground. So I guess the question is, what the heck is this tree? It grows like an oak tree, but its base is a mangrove tree. It doesn't know what tree it wants to be. Moving on. This water structure doesn't make a lot of sense. So based on the artwork, this is the structure of the ground. So there are two ways the water can flow. This way and this way. If these are source blocks, the water would want to flow down here because it's closer. That's just how water works. So there's no way in hell the water can do what it's doing there. I just think it looks better for the artwork. Next, the water here is above a certain level. It's flowing down towards the pig, which means back here, something like this is going on because otherwise the water would flow down here and knock the pig into the water, but it's possible. Next up, something in the distance. I didn't build this one in game. I asked Shula to do it. She's a great builder. She worked with me on Squid Game. And you can see in the distance, water flow is bi-directional here. There doesn't appear to be anything supporting the water flowing down this way. Second last, we have the chest boat dude. A lot of people speculated on him being a kid because he looks like he's very small. It's very hard to tell, but I think it's the right size. However, this is the true problem with it. This chest boat and this dude should be falling down the waterfall. The only reason why it's not falling down right now is because I actually spawned him to the left for the picture to work. And here's why. This water would be flowing down. Even if these are source blocks, there is an active current pushing this water down towards the lake. There is absolutely no way this guy's enjoying this boat ride right now. I can show this to you. So I'm gonna spawn it where it actually is, which is about here. That's what would have happened. This chest boat is unstable. Okay, now finally, we have the dog. What's wrong with the dog? This was actually pointed out a lot of times in the Reddit post. And I think it really is the funniest thing that exists here. In this picture, the dog's hind legs are standing on this sand block. You can confirm this because of the shadow right there. So the tail actually reaches on the back of this sand block. So the dog stretches from back here and its front legs are over here. You can see that from the shadow as well. So. This is a giant dog. There is no way this dog can reach from here all the way back there. That's where the tail is. So how long is this dog, you might ask? Based on this instance, a dog in Minecraft is 28 pixels long. If 16 pixels is one meter, the full span of a wolf in the game is 1.75 meters. So based on the above analysis, the wolf spans from here to here. There's actually one more block here, but we're going to assume that the tail reaches the middle or midpoint of these two blocks. How long is the wolf in this picture? We need to apply Pythagoras twice because it uses three axes. Welcome to math on the Phoenix SC's channel. So we're going to need this diagonal first. And we're going to do that by simply getting these two sides. This is one meter. This is 3.5. So the square root of a squared plus b squared is 
3.64. So this is 3.64 meters long. And finally, with the elevation, the dog appears to be jumping one block up. So that was the length we figured out, and it jumps one block up. So this was roughly 3.64. This is also one meter, 3.64. Same calculation. The dog is 3.77 meters long. This dog is nearly four meters long, which means it's more than two and a half times the size of a regular dog. So from all of this garbage that I've fed you in this video, I guess the takeaway is pay attention in maths because you might need it because you play Minecraft.